Welcome everybody into this new video from Wix.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how or what's the deal with the Wix forms. There are actually two or three ways to do this. Uh, the very first way and the very easy way, if you already have a website, so we can just go ahead, like, jump right into the point, is to go into your site, go into the site that you want to add your, your Wix forms, and here what you want to do is to look for edit site into your dashboard. I want to go into edit my site. And here, now that we are inside the editor of the Wix site, I want to focus into this section onto the left part. I just need to wait a couple of seconds till this appears and there we go. Alright, so now what I want to do here is to look for this bar. Look for the pages and menus. And if I go into add application, I can add a Wix app marketing. I can add the, I'm going to be choosing the search bar into my search bar. I'm going to be choosing the custom tag line, like for example, forms. So I'm going to hit into form payments or just forms. And as you can see, it says Wix forms and payments, get info subscribers payments in, and with forms. We do have the phone builder and payments. We have the contact form. This is a free plan available. You don't want to look for free to install. You want to look for the pre plan available. So you, I want to click in here and I want to add the add to site. Now, there are a few applications that are, I mean, all the applications market are created by all the users. So by default, there are a few prices, of course, like hidden. The, so this is like one form. If you don't want to do the manual way, for example, but the other way, is to go into your site design if you go into the pages and menus and you go into the app actually if you go into the ad section you're going to see the section here i want to focus into form so here into formed i do have the different options that i can use to add my form for example one of this so once i clicked into one of this option i just need to drag and drop like this and here I just need to scroll a little bit down so I can see the sign up for my email update. Now, if you don't have an account, if you don't have a website and you want to start totally from scratch, you can go into your account, you can go into your um, your custom domains. I'm going to hit into home. I'm going to hit into the site and application and I'm going to see all the sites that I do have available. I do have four of them. So I want to create a new site. So really, really quick, I'm going to hit the online store, uh, drum store, for example. You can hit into next. You want to customize the website as you are creating your own things. Uh, let's say breath of the haunted. Hit into next. And I want to choose the custom things that I want to add. So I want to choose the forms so I can just right away start to edit the forms inside my website. If I want to see more stuff, I can go into the view more and I can add, for example, bookings, events, blog, a portfolio and go into next. Then after that, what's going to happen is that the store is going to be created already. So I just need to choose whether to choose a template or a custom build side that was created for by Wix and you don't have to do absolutely anything. I want just to focus into the template because I think it's more customizable. Uh, I do have more um, like more advanced tools. So here I do have online drum store. Here I'm going to be choosing the one that I do love. For example, this one, I'm going to hit into edit after I view it, of course. If you don't like it, you can go back and choose another one. But I think this one that we just selected is really, really great. So lastly, what I want to choose here is my website that I just created. I mean, it was generated by Wix using a template. And now that all the touches, all the things that Wix has to add from the template are now uh, been listed into my store or into the customized website that I just created, what I do want to focus in is into the main form that once again if i go into my pages and menus here i can see the uh, book online support by now i'm going to choose the forms so if i scroll a little bit down 
like this and like this and like this, I'm going to be seeing the forms that it's available into my store. So if I choose more, for example, or you don't see that for into your store, into your booking online blog portfolio, as you can see, this one does not appear into the site menu, but I'm pretty sure it appears into the booking section or into the member page. So I can go into member page and I do have the form comment, my bookings, my address, my subscription profile. If you don't see that, you have to freak out. You want to do exactly the same thing that we just created into the other like our website that was go into the ad section and look for the form. So here's my form. Now remember there are three ways that we can add different forms into Wix. The third way that I can show you, like if you want to customize more stuff, you just don't want to focus into three or four stuff. I'm going to hit, for example, this option. And you might see that I do have the first, last name, email, subject, and all of that. But I want to add my custom form. So whether I can choose the Wix form, choose the form settings, and in here, I can create a submission table. So if I choose create a submission table, what's going to happen is going to be creating a new collection of form where I can edit my custom content. So I go into get it, view submissions table. I just need to wait a couple of second and here into my dashboard is going to be appearing to my contact section. I'm going to go into the go to editor. So instead of choosing the add section, I want to focus into this downside of content manager. So here into the content manager, I can manage my site content. So you want to go into add to site, adding the content manager. By the way, really, really easy, right? So what I want to do is to create a new collection and here into the create collection. As you can see, we do have the contact number two because we've already created um, this section that I'm pretty sure appears down in here on the on the upper side. I don't want to focus in there. I want to go into create collection, and here into the create collection. Let's say you want to do a first submission. How many items do you want in your uh, collection? I want to go into multiple items and hit into create. Now what's going to happen here is going to be appearing the content manager editor where I can just do this on my own. So I want to go into title, here you're going to hit into plus, the field type, I want to choose text, the field text, I'm going to hit into name, and the help text optional, this is um, input your first legal name here, hit into saved, and here's my name. So as you can see, here's the uh, info, I can add as much things as I want to, for example, last name. And then I can add something else, what a text. And let's say, for example, that I want to choose. Straight into the content manager and do here all your resources. So you don't have to do uh, all of it using a template that for me is pretty, pretty basic. So I think like this is going to be helping us a lot to do a lot of things and customize all our sources and all that. So there you have it guys. It was really, really easy, right? So hopefully guys, this was a very useful video for you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more information about the Wix site.com, all the tools, all the plugins that we do have available. And of course for free. So I do loved this great, great, great platform. So thank you once again for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.